Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I was going to do a flip through of Art Therapy, Buddhism, 100 Designs, Coloring in and Relaxation. So I come in my room, my bedroom to film because it's the only uh, spot where there's a level surface right by a window. So I, I hope you can see, okay, it's kind of a great day today. So I'm working with the, the natural light on this side and then um, artificial light on that side. So hopefully you can see okay. Um, it looks like the illustrations are by Marth Mulkey and Jean Montano. Um, and then it has this name here, Jackie Small. I'm not sure what, what that's about. Um, and then here's some information for anyone who likes to know, like, the ISBN number and that sort of thing. Uh, the book was a 2015 book, first published by Hatchet Libre, which is Hatchet Pratique, in 2014. So I don't know if this is the same Hatchet company that many of you... Uh, get your, um, I think the coloring by numbers books from. I'm not sure. I mean, it seems awful coincidental to have a name like Hatchet. It's not very popular or not very common. So I would think that maybe that is the same company. It's just rebranded or has, you know, different divisions to it or something, but that's where this book is from. Uh, so back here, it's saying that you can get in this series, um, Mandalas, Enchanted Forest, Extraordinary Gardens, my fashion coloring book, stained glass, Celtic, uh, Aztecs, and Mayas. I think there's also a fairies one. <sighs> what else? I know I've seen more. So since this is a 2014 or 15 book, um, it's probably not going to have all of the uh, other ones that you can get listed on the back because they weren't invented yet. <laughs> okay, so then when you go inside here, I didn't color this. I bought this book used on eBay for $3.99. There was this colored in and one more page, which you'll see when we flip through it. So if you don't mind um, having a page or two colored, then that's the way to go because this book was uh, $19.99 US and $21.99 Canadians, so you know to get it for three ninety nine is great. If you can find a new one at that price, awesome. But I I could not, so I just settled for the um, good condition used one, which like I said, it was just two pages colored. So in the front here, you get um, some history of Buddhism. If you're interested in that, um, it talks a little bit about like their recurring motifs so you you know get a little understanding of why you're seeing uh, something over and over again but what's nice about th these books is you know it spurs your imagination and um, like th the other one the uh, the Aztecs one I have you know I was I found myself googling and learning a lot more about the culture than I probably would have delved into had I not come across the coloring book and really started looking, you know, at all of the, um, the design motifs in their work. It's it just fascinating to me. Uh, so you have that there. Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of patterns in this book. And if you don't like patterns, then, you know, this might not be the book for you. However, what I feel about it is the patterns are so much more interesting uh, than a lot of the pattern books that we see commonly, you know, where you know, it'll be a shape repeated over and over again. I mean, these two are shapes, but they're put together in such a way that I, I think is much more visually interesting, and I really, really like the patterns that they have in here. Most of them. There's a few that I probably won't color. Um, but for the most part, um, and you do get some designs where you'll have these very small, you know, I'll probably have to go in with uh, fine liners to do this. But it's possible because the paper is nice. It's nice paper. It's much thinner than copy paper. You know, it's not as thick as Johanna Bassford or some of those, of course. Um, but it does have that more of a substantial feel more towards the cardstocky feel than towards the thin paper feel, if you know what I mean. Here's one that I already completed. I apologize for having that 
you know, I know people like to see flip throughs when there's no pages done, but <laughs> I was a little late and I and I just wanted to, to do some coloring in here. So, um, yeah. And then this is what I mean, like, this is what I'm working on now. And, you know, yes, it's repeating uh, dots and things. Um, but for some reason, I'm just much more drawn to patterns like this than some of the other pattern books I have. And, you know, perhaps you would be, too. Um, and, you know, not every page is going to be the double page. There are plenty of pattern pages where the things are different. You know, like this page, you, you get the Buddha figure here, but you also have somewhat of a repetitive pattern here. But do you see what I mean when I say that it's much more uh, visually interesting? So, I will just kind of be quiet now and uh, let you... Make up your mind about what you think about it. There is no other flip through of this on YouTube that I could find. Um, unless it's, you know, like somebody put the title as something else and the algorithm that I'm typing in, the search is not picking it up um, or bringing it to me. But, you know, I've, I search for the title of this book in a few different ways because before I bought it, I kind of wanted to see you know, what it was like, and I couldn't find anything. So hopefully this helps someone out there who may possibly be trying to decide whether or not they like this book or want this book. Quit me. Annie. really like this page. Both of these. Very interesting. That one is really, really cool. For those of you out there that like dragons, I know there's a lot of people who enjoy coloring dragons. So here we go again with some pattern. And you can see, you know, it's it's just, it, you go from very detailed to, you know, a bigger, wider type of pattern. So I I don't think it's it's a boring type of a pattern to color when it when you're giving when they're giving you like so many different areas you know what I mean like to me boring pattern pages would be like repetitive circles everywhere and nothing else or you know sh the the swirly shapes that they do in a lot of pattern books but for for this one um, it's just different now you know you could use your fine liners t for that portion of it then switch to your pencils And then the same here, you know, you're going from a bigger figure to a much smaller one to small ones. So it's just the way, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's just the way that the book is, is laid out, the way that the patterns repeat, that I find more interesting. You guys can let me know what you think. My grandson thought this page was hilarious. <laughs> so I'm probably going to take it to the library if I ever get out that way and copy it for him and let him color the foot. So you do get some pages where there's like structures, which I'm assuming is some kind of like altar type of a thing. The tripod's getting in the frame. I'm sorry about that, guys. A page like this, I like the way that the flowers are so big. Um, so you can really play with color here and do something really bright. Or, you know, you know, there's no rule saying you have to color this all the same. Like, you could do one page really bright and the other page in darker shades would be neat.
for those of you that like horses. There's plenty of them on this page. I think this one's going to be really fun to color in oranges and reds. Now here you go again with the, this, the patterns. I mean, this is the symbol for ohm, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, I mean, to me that's more interesting to color than just um, some random shape. This one is very detailed. Look at that, guys. Look at the small places you have. It's definitely a page that when I get to it, I will want to take my time and not rush because there's a lot to that one. Some elephants. This one's neat. Smoke coming out of the incense holder. So this is a repeat of the page that I had completed in the beginning. I don't know if you notice. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Yeah, so there's my page and you, you're getting it again. As far as I know, well actually on my page there's um, five roses at the top and the bottom and here they've taken that element away so it's not an exact repeat but as far as I know that's the only repeat that I've personally found. You might catch more when you're watching this than, than I do. That's a pretty page. And then, you know, here you get you do get a nice selection of um, mandalas, for those of you who like them. Some more dragons. Okay, guys, this video is getting so long. I must be quiet. So here's the page that, that was already done when I bought the book used. And I'm probably just going to try to you know, go over it maybe a little bit with some pencils or something. Very pretty. That's a very different type of mandala, isn't it? It's got a lot more open space in it than some of the mandalas that we see commonly around. Here's some more dragons for you, dragon lovers. And that is it, guys. 
I hope that you enjoyed this flip through um, and maybe I helped somebody decide whether to buy or not to buy. <laughs> that is the question, to buy or not to buy. So there you go, Art Therapy Buddhism 100 Designs. Have a great day everyone.